Good afternoon. I am Trishan Bani, India Meteorological Department. I welcome you all to the daily weather briefing. So first we'll talk about the last 24 hour observed weather condition. So there was a isolated extremely heavy rainfall was observed over Assam and Meghalaya. Heavy to very heavy rainfall was also observed over Telangana, East Rajasthan, Konkan and Goa and also over the South Himalayan West Bengal and heavy rainfall was reported over Arunachal Pradesh and Madhya Maharashtra. Yesterday also there was a heat wave condition that was prevailed in some parts of Himachal Pradesh and Southeast Uttar Pradesh and in isolated pockets over Haryana, Delhi, Jharkhand, Northeast Madhya Pradesh, Punjab and Uttarakhand. So today's weather highlights, there is an advancement of Southwest monsoon, we will discuss about it. And also there is a uh, intense spell of rainfall is likely uh, to continue along the West Peninsular coast during the next two days. And also current spell, which is uh, 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 occurring over the Northeast India, that current spell of heavy rainfall is likely to continue over the Northeast India and sub Himalayan and West Bengal and Sikkim during the next five days. And also heat wave condition likely to continue in isolated pockets over Punjab, Haryana, Delhi and Southeast Uttar Pradesh during next two days and abatement of heat wave condition thereafter. So this is the synoptic situations. You can see there is the offshore trough at mean sea level which is running from South Gujarat coast to North Kerala coast. <clears throat> you can see this is the line <clears throat> where this offshore trough is present. And also there is a trough in the north Madhya Maharashtra to central part of the Arabian Sea. Here it is. Across South Gujarat coast and Northeast Arabian Sea between 3.1 kilometer and 4.5 kilometer above mean sea level. You can see here it is. <clears throat> and also east-west trough from northwest Uttar Pradesh to the west Assam across Bihar and South Himalaya and West Bengal, which is extended up to 0.9 kilometer above mean sea level, still persist. Here it is. Here is the Trough, east west trough, which is extending from northwest Uttar Pradesh up to the west Assam. You can see clearly with this picture. And also, the trough from northeast Bay of Bengal uh, uh, is extending from uh, northeast Bay of Bengal to the central part of the Bay of Bengal around 3.1 kilometer up to the 5.8 kilometer above the mean sea level. Here is the line. And also, there is a uh, feeble western disturbance as a trough in the middle tropospheric westerlies with its axis at 5.8 km above mean sea level, now runs roughly along 62 degree east and to the north of latitude 32 degree north. And if you look at the advancement of the southwest monsoon, here you can see this picture, the red line basically represents the normal monsoon condition scenario. And if you look at the green line, which is basically representing the actual, actual monsoon scenario, what is going on. And also, the uh, what are the uh, if you look at the northern limit the different uh, latitude and longitude information regarding the northern limit of the monsoon you can clearly see here and also we notice that the conditions are more favorable for further advancement of the monsoon into some parts of the north arabian sea remaining parts of konkan some parts of gujarat state most part of the madhya maharashtra entire karnataka and tamil nadu and also some parts of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, West Central and Northwest Bay of Bengal during the next 24 hours. And also the condition further continue to become favorable for further advancement of monsoon into some more parts of the North Arabian Sea, Gujarat Strait, some part of Mardhavara, some more parts of the Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, more parts of Bay of Bengal, entire South Himalaya and West Bengal and Sikkim, and also some more parts of Orisha, Gangetic, West Bengal, Jharkhand and Bihar during the subsequent three days. If you look at the thunderstorm and rainfall forecast and warning for the next five days, there is a strong southwesterly wind from Bay of Bengal to the northeast and adjoining East India in the lower tropospheric level. So under the influence of this strong wind, we are expecting widespread light to moderate rainfall is very likely over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and also over the Tripura and also South Himalayan, West Bengal and Sikkim during the next all five days. Isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is also very likely over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya and South Himalaya and West Bengal and also over the Sikkim during all next five days. And heavy rainfall over Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram and also over the Tripura during 14 to 16 June. 
isolated extremely heavy rainfall is also likely over Assam and Meghalaya during the 12 to 16 June. Rainfall activity is also likely to increase over Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, Gangetic, West Bengal with fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with thunderstorm lightning gusty wind during 14 to 16 June. We are also expecting isolated scattered rainfall with thunderstorm lightning gusty wind um, over Madhya Maharashtra, uh, sorry, over Madhya Pradesh and also scattered to fairly widespread rainfall over Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh during next five days. And also isolated heavy rainfall is likely over West Madhya Pradesh on 12th and over Chhattisgarh on 15th and 16th June. And also there is a strong westerly wind along the west coast in the lower tropospheric level. So under the influence of this strong westerly wind, fairly widespread to widespread light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm lightning is very likely over coastal Karnataka, Kerala and Maha and also with the Lakshadweep. And also isolated to scattered rainfall is very likely uh, is likely over Andhra Pradesh, Yanam, Telangana, and Tamil Nadu, and also Puducherry and Karaikal during the next three days, and increase of this condition thereafter, with scattered to fairly widespread rainfall over the region during subsequent two days. We are also expecting isolated heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu on 12th, over Kerala and Mahe on 12th and 16th, over coastal Karnataka on 12th and 13th, and over Telangana during 12th to 14th June. And also widespread rainfall with thunderstorm lightning very likely over Konkan and Goa and scattered to fairly widespread rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning over Madhya Maharashtra and Marathwara during next five days. Isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over Konkan and Goa during next three days and isolated heavy rainfall over Ghat regions of Madhya Maharashtra for today. And another western disturbance and lower level yesterday was there. So under the influence of that, scattered to fairly widespread light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning is very likely over Jambu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Muzaffarabad, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and also over East Uttar Pradesh, and isolated to scattered rainfall over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, and Delhi on 15th and 16th June. If you look at the heat wave warnings, heat wave condition have uh, already been abated from most part of central and adjoining East India, but heat wave condition is isolated places is very likely over Jambu division on 12th and Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, East Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand on 12th and 13th June. If you look at the weather warning map for next five days, you, you can clearly see that over the Northeast India, over the specifically Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya region, all five days orange warning has been given. We are expecting the heavy rainfall and thunderstorm and lightning like condition over that region on 14 onward we have given yellow warning over the rest part of the northeast india and we are expecting uh, heavy rainfall with uh, heavy rainfall conditions over that region and if you look at the west uh, peninsular india you can see for today there will be a uh, 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 forecast of heavy rainfall along with the strong wind and thunderstorm lightning condition on 13 14 also the condition may be prevailed and after that the condition may improve or the heavy rainfall condition may reduce, but the thunderstorm lightning condition may be there. You can clearly see from this map. So these are the uh, different IMD app. You can check those app like Mossum app, Damini app, MacTooth app, and uh, be updated with the weather information. Thank you.